Oh, okay. So as you can see, the block went through. So I think it has a bigger detection range on top of it. So even if I put this on it, a fill block above the hopper, it would pick it up. But I think if I put a slap on there, them, like this, and I would then throw the item on there, nothing works. And I think that's because uh, the minecart hopper is like half a block further instead of this one. Yeah, because if if I if I would do this right, like this, right? If I put a block on top of it, nothing works. The thing is, if I do this, okay, still nothing works. So yeah, my guard hopper can detect above block. So you would not you 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 can actually use normal blocks, but then you would need a minecart hopper instead of a normal hopper. So basically when an item goes through, you, you throw an item on a secret spot and it would give you a signal, uh, right? So it would give you a signal. So only you, the more secure, you could make a filter. Now to make a filter, I'm gonna quickly cons try to construct this. What would you need? You would need to use a hopper. Like so, I think two hoppers, yes, and then, um, oops, uh, there are slaps, then you would need a comparator, then uh, do something like this, um, then something like this, a redstone torch, and then a repeater. I do mean just just by my head, so I'm trying to be smart about it. Okay, this is not good because the comparator is in the way. Whoa. Okay. Would this do something? Or maybe if I do this and then no, no, no. something like this and then something like this and then cut off this and then of course reset the torch. Uh, I think it was something like this. So. Basically, what happens is that I think if I put an item in there, like redstone, item would not travel through. Right. So to create an item filter, you need to do something like this. So basically, what would happen is this hopper is blocked, but from the moment um, there is enough items in it, and it reaches this torch, it would unlock the hopper and immediately put an item in this chest. Which eventually says to the hopper, well, there is less items in there, do this torch back on and blocks the hopper again from transferring items. So to create a filter, let's use diamonds. Why not? Because diamonds are pretty. You take a stack, right? And um, what you do is so you fill this up with diamonds. And then you just put the whole stack in there to a point it will eventually stop counting down which apparently is 18 okay so we take the diamond so let's see if I put a diamond you see it twicker it's uh, flickered so if we would now like do something like this, right? And we'll put a repeater over here and um, use a door, like so. Just put a door over there, and I put a diamond in there. 
the door opens and closes. So it gives us a signal. If I would put another item over there, it does not work. The item would be sucked up. Right? So basically, I only need to use one hopper and put a half slap above it to cover it. And then, uh, yeah, something like this basically. Very easy to cover. Actually, everything is under the ground. So, redstone, nothing happens. But a diamond, uh, e. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see what the, what the problem is. Because it's blocked, it will also not take any items. That's one little problem you would have. So you do need a second hopper because this this hopper will actually try to force it um, into it. So yeah. Of course, if if it's like stuffed up with items if you see the diamond doesn't work that would mean that it's it's maybe filled with items so yeah so diamond it works redstone it sucks it up but nothing happens and then you need to remove the redstone of course to let it function so this is pretty cool because this design makes it so that it only opens uh, for one specific item. Now I think there is also something really cool you can do but it makes it very expensive. To do this you need to go um, and get yourself an anvil. And this is pretty expensive. Um, there were I think 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 items in there. So Let's create a password. Password. Apparently it's created all the items with passwords. Oh, but it take three diamonds as as a price. Okay, that, that's interesting. That's really interesting. So basically, we would now fill this up, 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 and then divide it a little bit. 16, 17, 18, 19. Voila. So we now have a diamond with the password. Password. And let's try to get a diamond, normal diamond. So normally, if I put this diamond on the ground, this does not stack with this. Like, let's say I throw this diamond, I throw this diamond, I throw the password diamond, it stacks with the, with the diamonds. With the same name, which means um, again. So if I would put a normal diamond in there, nothing works. But if I put the diamonds with the password, password, it works. So basically, you can create a door which works on a password that nobody knows where to enter it, and it not only uses like a password it also you also need to have the right password but you also need to have the right item in there and you also need the XP to get the name I think right uh, yeah yeah now it's password DD so that will not work and the normal diamond is still in there so password DD not working. That's something really interesting. Um, the next, there, there, there are some minor things that I want to show you. First of all is the butt switch, and butt switch not in like butt, but more in like B U D block update detector. And this is something which redstoners use sometimes. Uh, Basically, how to construct it? Well, in 1.8, it's very simple because you have now slime blocks. Basically, it has something to do with butt power, which I will not explain in this video, but basically, it's something like this this piston is butt powered through this redstone block, so it's basically not directly powered, or actually, it is powered, but 
in order to get powered it needs an update which only happens if the block is right next to it and when it pushes the redstone block further away it doesn't get powered so if I do do something it reacts so what you now would need to do is you would need to take a furnace because other blocks would not work I think or does it I think it does maybe let's try it out Oop, oop. Like so, and then no, no, no. Okay, it doesn't. It does not work. Okay, we need a furnace because the sign block will go to here and then eventually do stuff. Put a repeater there and some dust. Dust. Yeah, that's good. So basically, if I do something, it gave a signal. It was pretty fast. Let's turn it on four ticks. See it happened? I remove it and it happens. Block, same thing. Diagonally, nothing happens, so it needs to be at the piston. And this is pretty cool. Let's take let's say you have a furnace, right? You put some stuff in there like um uh, uh ore or iron ore, right? Okay. You have some coal like this, right? You put iron ore in there, nothing happens. I'm gonna put my screen something like this. I'm gonna put coal in there, nothing happens. But if I do the coal and the ore in there, something happens. And I think when the furnace turns off, it happens again. Somewhere. Oh. The reason why it didn't happen is that I gave it like a block of coal. Let's do that again. Maybe just just for science. No, just for science. Uh again. So let's take ore. This will do. Let's take a stick maybe. We would maybe not finish it, but so when it finishes it happens again. So when it turns on and turns off, it basically changes from block. And so you could do a lot of different stuff. Like for instance, let's take some dirt. Some dirt over here. Let's take a hoe. Right. So what you could do is you could cover the piston, like so, with some dirt, right? Uh, maybe a furnace or obsidian. I don't know. And then tilt the earth, which would will not happen because there's a block above it. So let's use maybe something completely different, which would probably wreck the whole thing. Err, let's just use a stair, just demonstration purposes. Of course, the stair will go with the slime block, and again, it does nothing. You saw it happen. If I jump on it, it happens. So if I update it, it gives a signal. Awesome. I think if you even grow crops on it, so let's use some seeds, maybe, and then bone meal. Probably not. No, does not work. But well, I actually needed that dirt. Um, let's do this. Now I need a hoe again. Hoe. Every time I say a hoe with a W. Put some seeds in there. It updates, and when it grows, it would basically update. You could use this as kind of like growth detector so after a few grow ticks basically it knows that okay this crop is ready harvested or something like that also useful it's so just like okay that apparently didn't work but seeds do work okay cauldrons will possibly also work so any block update can trigger it and I think there is this design I had somewhere I think it was here yeah you see I experimented with this furnace 
to hang in TNT trap underneath it. This was originally a house. Okay, so this house blew up. So this is the same principle. The only thing is that this block update detector works on an old design, so not with slime blocks. So basically, if you diagonally, so this block is powered, which is diagonally above this piston, which creates a butt detector. So every time I put something there, nothing happens. Okay, that's interesting. But um, let's see. I thought it did something when I did a torch. Okay, it does nothing when I put a torch. What about if I put a redstone torch? It works. You know, there, there is a thing on there which basically it's a flip flop that's why it stays open and then I trigger it again it goes off so basically you would say well what is it okay recent torch powers something if you look at it it powers nothing because there should be something above it or there should be redstone directly next to it which is really not the case and actually nothing is happening it's only when I remove it that something happens interesting so I think it's like it powers this block and it only updates when the power goes away I don't know but this is something interesting I found put it like this it updates so if I place it it, up, it, it powers this block which powers this piston apparently normally normally I don't think it does that Let's let's test this. Minecraft is all about testing. Um, so let's put a block above it. Okay, so apparently it does that. So this is not really a block update detector thing. Okay then, but this it is, which is awesome. So normally. I put something like this nothing happens but apparently whoops if you remove it it works um, and then other things and these are just some minor things um, first of all uh, this is using a villager the reason why is because villagers do not really uh, despawn or you could use a name tagged uh, creature instead um, you use some redstone like this, right? Okay, so you have this, right? And then what you would have is a pipe like this, like yeah, no, it would put something like you would have, you would need like a water. To unlock this, basically you have a villager. Okay, a villager. So put the villager in there. It unlocks something, right? And if you would put then some water in there, and actually you need this above it so it will not escape. If you put some water in there, it will. I hopefully swim up. No. Yes. It. Kinda swims up. Kinda. And it will eventually kinda suffocate. But okay, this is not reliable, it seems like. Okay, so don't use this. <laughs> okay, so that was the second part of secret activations. Um, sorry it was so long. Uh, I tried to cover a lot of things. There are still a few things I could cover, but I didn't really find it worth to cover it. It's not because I'm kind of bad in, in editing and just find out my other footage went a little bit lost in the sense of my uh, voice was gone. Um, no, no, no. I, I just think it's not worth um, showing that to you. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to watch more of my videos, leave a like and subscribe. 
And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I see you guys later.